Here's a very interesting voicemail that came in. Of course, you can leave a voicemail at two one nine two David P. That's the phone number two one nine two David P. Here's a hot caller who says people seem to be moving on from Joe Biden very quickly, which is exactly what I predicted at the top of the show. Hey, David, I'm just surprised at how everyone forgot about Joe Biden so quickly. It feels like everyone is jumping on this I hate Kamala train and everyone says, oh, Kamala is way worse. Kamala did this. Kamala did that. And then when you say, oh, why is she worse? Why is she bad? What did she do? They can't say anything. So the narrative always changes to demonizing any sort of Democratic nominee. And it's crazy how fast that happened. Yeah, this, there are a lot of good points here. Now, I think it's very important to be cautious that there are some on the left who insisted that Biden had to be replaced, who, if it's Kamala Harris, will say no, but not with Kamala. I'm just as against Kamala as I was against Joe, Joe Biden. I'm still staying home. I'm still voting third party. I'm still maybe some of them voting Trump. So be a little cautious of the folks who said Biden's got to go because he's too old. All right. What about Kamala? She's 59. No, still not voting for her. Why? Well, it's not Democratic or she went after pot users when she was uh, uh, a G in California, which feels like ancient history at this point in time or whatever. So we need to let the process play out. I don't know who the nominee is going to be so far. Uh, There are a lot of strong endorsements of Kamala Harris. At the top of the show, I wondered whether the Obamas had yet endorsed Kamala Harris. I checked during a break. They have not as of this point endorsed her. So it's not like every big name endorser uh, has said we are behind Kamala Harris. But you have to remember there's going to be two things that happen on the left. Some of the people who said Biden has to be replaced. He's the worst. They will say, oh, no, but not with Kamala. I'm still just as opposed to this. I got two emails from those folks this morning. In fact, on the right, they will shift to Kamala is also a disaster. Kamala participated in the cover up about Biden or Kamala is part of the same failed policies, which, of course, they can't name and the economy is doing great or whatever. So there's going to be a lot of heat on Kamala Harris if indeed it seems as though she's going to ultimately be the nominee. One of the things we will talk about on the bonus show today is who are the front runners to be Kamala Harris's vice presidential picks, presumptive or not. She is already vetting VPs, according to uh, reporting. So we'll talk about that in the midst of all of this. The White House is pushing a very interesting cap on rents which I know Biden's not running and all these things, but it's still a very interesting piece of legislation to talk about. And then number three, Hunter Biden has dropped his lawsuit against Fox News over their mock trial miniseries. Is it related to his father's decision not to seek reelection? We will discuss all of that and more on today's bonus show. Sign up at joinpacman.com.